aggregation. Even when aggregating telco data, because of the highly personalized nature of the records, it is practically impossible to de-anonymize the data set and keep it useful. In the 2014 paper on the anonymizability of mobile traffic datasets the authors conclude that, mobile traffic fingerprints tend to have a non-negligible number of elements that are much more difficult to anonymize than the average sample. These elements, which determine a characteristic dispersion and long-tail behavior in the distribution of fingerprint sample distances, are mainly due to a significant diversity along the temporal dimension. In other words, mobile users may have similar spatial fingerprints, but their temporal patterns typically contain a non-negligible number of dissimilar points. It is the presence of these hard-to-anonymize elements in the fingerprint that makes spatio-temporal aggregation scarcely effective in attaining anonymity. Indeed, in order to anonymize a user, one needs to aggregate over space and time until all his long tail samples are hidden within the fingerprints of other subscribers. As a result, even significant reductions of granularity, and consequent information losses, may not be sufficient to ensure non-uniqueness in mobile traffic datasets. As a concluding remark, we recall that such uniqueness does not imply a sick, direct identifiability of mobile users, which is much harder to achieve and requires, in any case, cross-correlation with non-anonymized data sets. Instead, uniqueness is a first step towards re-identification. Understanding its nature can help developing mobile traffic data sets that are even more privacy-preserving, and thus more easily accessible. Essentially, we may all use our phones in similar ways, but our individual usages are unique enough that to anonymize a given phone requires the data set to be so coarse as to be fairly useless. So why are they asking for it? Many governments already have access to the raw data, whether through legal instruments, or otherwise. Perhaps this is an attempt to parallel construct the access they already have. Or perhaps it's to put a socially acceptable coating on the access they already have. If properly aggregated and de identified, the risk of individual de anonymization from the data set becomes harder, as it is describing population behaviors rather than those of individuals. However, we remain incredibly wary of the reuse of this data for predictive policing, smart cities, and many other uses. Let's block ads. Why?